What is up YouTube, it is your man Tweet and Konnichiwa to all of you and welcome back to another video or the weekend's video. Now today we have a reaction video with you guys have been requested in my live stream. It was actually a ADC Art Attacks Children's, uh, I can't even talk right. Children's Supplies Professional Results, can it happen? You guys wanted me to react to it? So I said, why not? ADC Art Attack, I know you're watching this video. Your link will be in the description, very, very top. So. Guys, if you want to watch the original video, it's in the description. Go ahead and take a watch. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and in today's video, we are going to be using some kit supplies to hopefully create some good, great looking artwork. Okay, what you got? So what are we going to be using today? These. What? These are a couple of pencil cases I picked up from the local supermarket actually. It wasn't really an art store or anything like that. And apparently inside them is a fully contained pencil case. So coloring pencils and all that shebang. Now I haven't looked inside them so I don't actually know what's in them. I just hope that they are complete. I probably should have had a look inside it. But yeah. No. <laughs> Let's do that one video. I got two of them because uh, I figured, hey, we'll do one for the boys and one for the girls, right? But I like Unless Frozen. Unless you like Frozen, like me. I love Frozen. Yeah, I, I like Frozen. I like Frozen too, but that's just me. What do you think of it? Do you like them? Do you like them both? Do you like Spider-Man and do you like Frozen? I do. If you do, you're awesome. Anyway, what's the point of this video? I don't know. Oh yeah, so I'm going to be colouring in or drawing or doing whatever is supplied within these, I guess. I'm going to try and use everything that is supplied. Lucky you're them. holding them like Stop kids. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I couldn't control myself. So I'm going to basically be drawing a Spider-Man image and a Frozen image. Now I don't know who I'm going to be drawing for Frozen because I never draw Frozen. So, but when we're done with that, we're going to be putting them all in. I'm trying to get it off screen, but I can't. This, this is a folder to contain our professional artwork. Can't wait to do that. Whoo! Hmm. Yeah. Looks nice. And actually, it does look nice. I might actually. Saw ah! I'm sick. I don't know if you saw that. Right, that's done. So, yeah, this thing actually looks quite nice, and I might actually store my artwork in there. It's pretty good. Uh, so, with that being said, let's have a look at what is inside that pencil case, those pencil cases, see what we got to work with, and hopefully come up with some cool artwork. Let's go. All right, let's get into so it. So, here are our two pencil cases. Now, I have taken the liberty of already unzipping them because this thing here is really annoying. Really? See? Annoying. But let's take a look inside and see what we've got. So we're gonna start with the frozen one and get Spidey out of here. Go away. Go away. Cool. So first pouch, let's have a look. And bam, we have got um, two pencils, a biro, a blue biro, yay. Uh, that's gonna be fun to do anything with. Eraser sharpener, ruler, and I think that's paper. Yeah, yep. that's paper. And some really, really, really small paper, mm -hmm. which we're probably not gonna use because that's just really tiny. Second pouch. Ah, oh. Okay, so we do have colors, that's good. But unfortunately, we've got these things, which are these horrible, horrible felt tip pens. But hey, there they are. We'll see what and, they do. Uh, coloring pencils, which I'm pretty sure are not going to color at all. Uh, let's have a look at Spidey next. I think they're so going to be similar. Spider Man's first pouch. Oh, yeah. Okay, so similar. they're identical. Um, brilliant. So I don't really have to do anything. No, it's. Uh, although these are on a different side. All right, yeah. so they flip the sides. They made them a little bit different, but. Um, yeah, they're identical. Uh, nothing really to talk about. Cool. I oh, know that's nice. I never saw that before. That's good. All right, cool. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's uh, see where this goes and hopefully we can create some good quality artwork because that's the title of the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, hope you do enjoy it. I will talk you through some of the process as we go. And uh, I'll check back with you all again at the end of the video to review whatever we do. So let's get on with it. Hey. 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 I hate those sharpeners with the passion, low key. I hate those, yo. I hate those. Yeah, it looks like a pain to sharpen. Right, so getting on with this drawing, I'm gonna start by drawing Elsa. I'm gonna do her as a kid because I've sort of got an idea in mind, and you know. <laughs> In, in, in my head, it, it looks better than I think this is going to look because I don't trust those pencils and those pens later on to color this. But hey, let's just 
kind of see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And as you saw, mm-hmm. that pencil sharpening was just torturous. I mean, I'm always the guy that says pencils are universal and no pencil is better than any other pencil. There's, there's never a time when I'm ever going to say to you, you know, oh, you need to get this specific pencil because it's it's just going to improve your art so much. No, pencils are pencils at the end of the day. There is no real difference. Right. However, um, yeah, wow, that was bad. I mean... It was, I will never sharpen that again. There's no way I'm sharpening that pencil while using this. This is not happening. It worked as a pencil once it was sharpened and it didn't really matter too much how it was sharpened. It just kind of worked. You make it work with what it is. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the wood that this thing is made of is- Ooh, I like the way this is turning out though. What y'all think? I I like this, I like this. This is is good, this is good. I like this, I like this. Oh, it's it's so satisfying to watch art just come together, yo. It's so satisfying. I like this. Yo, y'all think I should do some Disney drawings? Like, I should, uh, you know, upgrade my skills to some Disney drawings? Let me know in the comment section. Y'all think I should? Because I'm thinking about it. Like, So at this point, I don't know if I want to go on to inking her first or if I want to start doing Spider-Man. But we're going to do Spider-Man first. I think it's better just to get the pencil phase out of the way right now so that i can move on in steps because i don't know how each thing is going to work and maybe i'll get a little bit stressed oh as we go i see down what he's road. doing so yo that's cool so i've chosen to do spider-man in this upside up, yeah type upside pose. down now there was a couple of drawings that i had done before this you could probably see them very oh right this is so paper. cool um, yeah no um, they just wasn't working. I couldn't quite get the image I was looking for. So I decided to go for the iconic, you know, upside down yeah. pose. And I just thought I'd throw him in there. You know, it's not supposed to be amazing, but I, I am trying. This it's is cool. So difficult. Okay, oh you see, God. I see you, boy. I see you. This is cool. You make me, oh, and make me want to try I'm this. Using. So this is the standard sketch paper that I use for pretty much every one of my drawings. There's, you know, I didn't want to go and grab any cartridge paper or anything i just figured it's kind of redundant for sketch paper is very cheap anyway so that's what i'm using here. yeah i like I this see, this is no so cool doing that. and the pencils are working fine with it i gotta say the pencil is working fine it's just it's just i just don't want to sharpen it because it, it's just so difficult it's so difficult <laughs> all right so inking is this well, usually this is like the this thing is like that I enjoy the writing. most. This is my like, most what? favorite part of doing any drawings. Uh, I never ink with blue ink, so this is going to be an adventure right there off the bat. And I would have loved to have done just an all biro drawing with these, but I promised myself that I would use every supply in this thing. So I mean, I even used the ruler at one point. So I I, I gotta. I gotta use the blue and I gotta try and work it into the drawing, which. Yeah. Yeah. Um, remember what I said about the pencil being probably the worst piece of equipment there? Because uh, of that wood? Well. The pen I, is. I think this biro is. Yeah, I was just saying, hey, that pen wow. is. I mean, I've never struggled like this with inking. Inking, as I said, is always the most relaxing part of the drawing for me. It's always the most calming part, is the bit that I love the most to do. This was just not working. It doesn't. Um, I couldn't get ink yeah, from it. It doesn't all. really look just like it's it was working. Going on with the graphite yeah. that was causing that problem. It kept stopping and starting. Um, it was very painful, very, very painful on my wrist and my hand because this inking alone for both of these characters took me well over an hour. It was extremely excruciating to do. Yeah, and, it is. You know, that while I didn't like really it, have I didn't a like grip the results, on it. I just. It doesn't have a good grip. I just felt very discouraged doing this and it was sort of exhausting, which is never a good way. And I'm really surprised that these are in a kid's pencil case anyway. I, I guess this is for school stuff anyway, you know, you're probably going to do some writing, so it's not really designed for drawing per se, but um... But why put them in an art supply yeah, though? I mean... I was really hoping for better and... Whatever. Um, it, it, I can't complain, we get there in the end. We do get there in the end, it's just very painful. That is the, that is the Debbie Downer here, but we get there and I bit my tongue. Ow. Okay, but this is cool though. This is a cool drawing. Okay, that really hurt my tongue, but hey, with that done, we are gonna start coloring. Now, I decided that I was going to use the felt pens and the pencils separately. And, you know, why not? I figured I wouldn't mix the two, so mm. we're gonna do, you know, pens first. So yeah. Spidey gets the pens, and um, yeah, I mean, they work just as felt pens do, you know, they're water based, they're not alcohol based, so they do sort of tear the paper up a little bit, mm-hmm. but it looks like it's they it weren't up. bad, I guess, I mean, they're, they're quite streaky. Um, I chose to just keep it very basic and very flat toned, 
uh, laying down the base colors. I had to take them. It, the good thing about using Spider-Man here is that I can take my time with it because I can do each individual square or like that sort of web section uh, individually. I don't have to do large mass areas at once, which is just really, really handy when using these felt markers because they're just so streaky. Yeah. I like the way you're using this black though. Like it, it, it looks like it was supposed to be like in the uh, like the 1990 Spider-Man. Like if anybody remembers that. And when complete with the first layer of the red, I decided I'd use the red again to apply some shadows just for a secondary tone. Now I had plans to actually use the black pencil over this. I figured, you know, we could probably add some minor shadows using the black pencil. So I tried it, and it just wouldn't work. I was so upset here because I I really. I chose a specific style that would accommodate that and it just failed me right there and I probably should have known that it wasn't going to work, but I didn't and I was pretty upset. I still think it looks good though. And I like how the way they're looking at each other, like I like that. And moving on to Elsa, I, yeah, I sort of had high hopes for this. I. You know, I was pretty confident going into it, and then I realized there's no colors. Like the variety of yeah, colors is Mike, just not I'm there. I don't really have any it. skin My tones, goodness. so that immediately you, is a red flag. Yeah. But yeah, let's start with doing her clothing first, and we'll see how that turns out. And I was pretty confident with the clothing. I didn't think I was gonna have, you know, really many too many problems with it. Uh -huh. uh, she sort of has like a turquoisey blue kind of colored thing. So you know, using the green, the blue, the purple, the black, it it would sort of work and i wasn't too phased by that i was just really nervous when it comes down to doing the skin so yeah getting this dress done it's it was quite comfortable and okay i will say that i was pretty much limited to doing only two layers uh, the minute i tried to apply a third layer unless it was black it just really wasn't doing much yeah they don't but really have much the black, color in them to the beginning fantastic. with so but, you know. Can't complain, I guess. I mean, it's really washed out and it's it doesn't layer at all. But it kind of looks good, right? Help me. It does. Does it, it, does it look good? Yeah, please. It does. Okay. Which I think. I think it looks good. I, I think it looks good. I think this looks good. This is cool. I need to learn how to color like this. I want to try this. Like, you get. Like, uh, ask him if it's okay if I use this idea, because I actually want to try something like this, you know. This is giving me a break from using my expensive uh, materials, and I can just use some cheap stuff, you know, just to practice, and, you know, appreciate, you know, how far I've come. So, this is kind of like an appreciation type drawing, you know. It's, uh, hey. The hair was another struggle. Uh, we have the yellows, we have the orange, and I didn't really know what to use for a shadow, oh, so this I just is black nice. again. I like and this, yeah. Yeah, again, you know. Layering was the issue here. I just tried to keep it streaky and then I made a mistake where I totally forgot that there's a hairband in her hair and I was a little bit angry at that. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it's coming along okay and we're gonna move on to the skins, which the skins are the most difficult part. I, you know, I'm never gonna be able to get the skin tones. Um, these colors don't mix and yeah. you know, I don't really have enough colors here to, to sort of work with the skin tones. So I'm just gonna use an orange um, maybe some of the black in there, the, the pink in there. It, it's really... It's like the best you can do. There isn't much for me to work with here. It's, so it's the best I you can do. I to be limited on it. And Coming up to the end of this, I, I think we're doing okay. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in a moment and we'll just sort of review this and see what you think. I... I, I gotta... Well, I'll catch you in a moment. This is actually not bad for the colors that you do have. You know, you can't really do too much, but... He's making it work, so I... And so, this is complete, you're it work. and, uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's very difficult to grade this. It's not you know, bad. I, I do not I like believe that though. this is, you know, great piece of artwork at all. I think it's um, it's it, it's kind of possible, maybe. I don't know, but you got to appreciate the tools that you're working with here. Mm -hmm. um, do I like this? No, is the answer there. I like the drawing. I think the drawing itself came out pretty good. I'm very happy with the drawing. I have no problems with that, but the drawing was just based on the pencil alone, and the pencil, as I said before, you can't go wrong with a pencil. It doesn't matter which pencils you choose. It's just whatever. Uh, the biro for inking was a no-go. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest using this particular biro, but I have in the past seen people using biros, and I don't think they are all bad or all equal. So I can't really judge on them too much, but this one in particular was terrible. It was it was just really really bad, and it was a terrible experience with that. 
As for the felt markers, well, the felt markers works as they would. I, I wouldn't expect anything more from these. They are just felt markers, and you can't really do much with them. You're pretty much limited to the art style that you choose. Yeah. And um, while I could have done a little bit more, I admit that, when I did this flat colors, I had a thought in mind that I was going to use the pencils on top of them to, to make something different. However, that backfired on me, and by then it was too late. I had layered way too many base layers, and I couldn't go back on this, and I just couldn't create the style that I wanted to. So I was a little bit upset there that I kept Spider-Man so flat and plain. Same thing there. The pencils were a kind of let down. Uh, they just have no pigment to them. They are really light and really washed out. It's extremely difficult to get any color of them out. But we worked with what we've got, and I'm actually pretty happy with Elsa. I think if Spider-Man wasn't on the page with her, and or if Spider-Man was there and we had done him using pencils, I think the contrast would have offset it and it would have looked okay. It wouldn't have been as bad as it looks. So, in the end, what do I think of this? Well, I don't know. I, I don't like them. Personally, uh, I hate them. I don't, I don't like the pencils, but the markers are not I bad. The children, I, I think yes, the markers are okay. They compact. They have everything that a kid could need for school. Great. They're amazing. But if a kid is genuinely taking interest in art, I think that they should definitely be given something a little bit better than this. Yeah. I don't like these things. I really don't like the colors that they're given. I don't like the quality of supplies in here. They yeah. just don't encourage creativity. They hinder it. Now, of course, children are a wonderful thing. They will create anything and love it. And that's great. That's fantastic. But I think that when a child starts to get a little bit older, you should definitely start to bring them into a little bit more quality supply. A brand that yeah. comes to mind would be Crayola. They are specifically marketed towards children. And, you know, they are a good quality Yeah, I used to use things. Crayola. Also, pro markers, brush markers. You know, this isn't an advert for them. But, yeah... They work. They do. I just don't think it's fair. I think a lot of children and young people just don't get the sort of support that they need to grow as an artist. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious, you know, where would I personally have been had I had quality art supplies when I was younger? I mean, it took me until I was around 20 years old before I started to get quality art supplies. Me too. Up until then, I just thought, hey, these are the best things that you can get. I didn't know anything. There was no one out there to tell me about this. So with that being said, I'm so sorry for just wafting on there. I got a little bit into it, but I just hope that you found this video informative, useful, and yeah, I mean, I look forward to seeing all of your lovely creations. If you do create something, and if you do have a child who creates something, I'd love to see it. So please tag me on Twitter, ADC Art Attack, or Instagram, ADC Art Attack. I'd love to see your artwork, so please share it with me, and maybe I'll feature it in a future video. What that being said, like a I good hope idea. Yeah, we should tag them or not my artwork. Was, I don't know. <laughs> I'll make it up to you and I'll see you next time. But let me just say, if you would like to see me redo this particular piece of artwork that we did today using my quality supplies, leave a comment down below and maybe we can do it and compare the two at the end. That could be fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, alright. That was cool. That was cool. They, I, I would have to say, yeah, those those color pencils don't really have a lot of pigment to them. I personally wouldn't use them. I mean, they're just that's just me. Uh, it was the drawing was not bad. I mean, well, the the drawing was was great, of course. I, I'm not talking about the pencil, the the, the pencil, but the coloring. It, I don't know. It was it was like it was out of a comic book, and I like that. But the way the pencils were like you know displayed it was like eh, 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 you know it wasn't it wasn't bad I mean I gotta give it to you that was pretty cool but uh yeah ADC GG's my friend GG's that was actually good I actually I actually learned a lot from there I might actually try this myself um guys if you want me to try something like this uh let me know in the comment section do you want me to try this coloring book thing because i could use a break from drawing something i could use a coloring book you know we can just go crazy you know that'll be fun i mean if you guys want that now y'all gotta let me know if y'all want that or not so because i got a few ideas in mind a lot of ideas yeah but guys that is gonna be it for this uh week's uh friday video if you guys want me to react to more of his videos or if you have another person that does a channel of art or anything to be honest that doesn't have to be just art it could be gaming it could be anything scary it doesn't matter if you have it let me know down in the comment section down below if you want to link it to me my instagram is also down in the comment section below so go ahead and tag me in it or go ahead and link it to me and i will react to it but guys that's it got nothing else for you i'm gonna go to bed and get ready for work and as I always say, peace and sayonara. I'll holler at y'all, man.